In this podcast episode, renowned spiritual leader and transformational teacher, Coot Blackson explores the profound concept of surrender and its critical role in personal growth and manifestation. He delves into the impact of societal conditioning, the importance of acceptance and grieving, and the distinction between fake and real surrender. Blackson also emphasizes the significance of service, navigating tragedy, and embracing growth through adversity. Blackson delves into the concept of surrender, emphasizing its critical role in personal growth and manifestation. In contemporary culture, surrender is often misconstrued as a sign of weakness or defeat. However, he argues that true surrender is a powerful act that can lead to profound fulfillment and freedom. He posits that the essence of surrender lies in aligning oneself with a greater intelligence in life, allowing individuals to transcend their current level of consciousness. Blackson highlights that the real secret to manifestation exists in the delicate balance between acceptance and surrender, a phase that many overlook. By embracing surrender, individuals can access a flow of life that guides them toward their true potential. This perspective reframes surrender not as a loss of control, but as an invitation to engage with a deeper, more authentic way of living. Blackson discusses how societal conditioning diverts individuals from their true selves. From an early age, people learn to suppress their feelings and conform to the expectations of caregivers, leading to the development of an egoic identity that often feels disconnected from their authentic essence. This conditioning fosters a limited sense of self, where individuals identify with the personas they create to gain love and validation. Recognizing this conditioning, is crucial for personal evolution. Blackson encourages listeners to reflect on their upbringing and the societal norms that have shaped their identities. By understanding the roots of their conditioning, individuals can begin to peel back the layers of their ego and reconnect with their true selves. As individuals encounter pain and limitations in their lives, they often enter a questioning phase. Blackson emphasizes that this phase is essential for growth prompting individuals to reflect on their true identity versus the conditioned self they have been living. He encourages listeners to engage in deep self-inquiry, asking profound questions about their identity and the truth of their experiences. This self-reflection can lead to a realization that the version of themselves they have been living is not their true self. Acknowledging this discrepancy is a necessary step toward surrender as it opens the door to deeper understanding and transformation. Acceptance is a critical precursor to true surrender. Blackson stresses the importance of acknowledging one's current reality, including uncomfortable truths. Acceptance involves recognizing limitations and challenges without immediately attempting to change them. He encourages listeners to sit with their feelings and allow themselves to experience the truth of their situation. This process of acceptance creates space for deeper healing and transformation. By fully acknowledging their current circumstances, individuals can begin to let go of resistance and open themselves to the possibilities that surrender can bring. Grieving is highlighted as a vital component of the surrender process. Blackson explains that true surrender cannot occur without first grieving the loss of old identities, relationships, or ways of being. Many people fear the grieving process, believing it will be overwhelming. However, Blackson reassures listeners that all feelings have a natural cycle, and allowing oneself to grieve can lead to profound healing. He encourages individuals to feel their emotions fully and to acknowledge the truth of their experiences. This acknowledgement facilitates the process of letting go, allowing individuals to move forward with a renewed sense of self. Blackson concludes his discussion on surrender by emphasizing that it involves an open-hearted participation in life. True surrender is not a passive act. Rather, it is an active engagement with the flow of life. This means trusting in the intelligence of life and allowing oneself to be guided by it. Blackson encourages listeners to embrace the unknown and view every experience as an opportunity for growth. He asserts that surrendering to life's lessons can unlock new levels of freedom and manifestation, ultimately leading to a more authentic and fulfilling existence. By letting go of attachments and trusting the process, individuals can experience a deeper connection to their true selves. In his exploration of surrender, 
Blackson distinguishes between fake surrender and real surrender. Fake surrender occurs when individuals let go of something with the expectation that it will return to them, indicating an attachment to a specific outcome. This type of surrender is rooted in ego and past experiences, limiting one's ability to see the broader possibilities of life. In contrast, real surrender involves a deep, honest recognition that something needs to change. It requires a willingness to follow inner guidance without projecting future expectations. Real surrender is about letting go of attachments and trusting the process, even when it feels terrifying. Blackson emphasizes that many people are often attached to their goals based on their current level of consciousness, which can limit their potential. He encourages listeners to shift from traditional goal setting to soul setting, aligning with their deeper impulses and desires. The journey toward achieving goals is not solely about the end result, but about the transformation and growth that occurs along the way. True fulfillment comes from the process of pursuing goals, which often leads to personal evolution and a deeper understanding of oneself. By focusing on soul setting, individuals can cultivate a more authentic and meaningful life. Blackson reflects on the importance of recognizing that life has its own timing. Not everything we desire will manifest immediately, and sometimes what we want is not aligned with our highest good. He encourages listeners to practice patience and trust that everything has its season, much like nature, which operates in cycles. What is truly meant for us will come in due time, and we should not force things that are not meant to be. By surrendering to life's timing, individuals can cultivate a sense of peace and acceptance, allowing them to navigate their journeys with grace. Blackson shares valuable lessons learned during his time in India, where he encountered various enlightened beings. One particularly impactful moment involved observing a blind beggar who sang joyfully despite his circumstances. This man, who had no arms and lived in poverty, embodied a profound sense of freedom and joy that deeply moved Blackson. He realized that true spirituality is not about lofty ideals, but about how we live our lives and express love in every moment. This understanding shifted his perspective on spirituality, emphasizing the importance of action and service to others. Blackson recounts his experiences with a mentor in India who reminded him that while meditation and prayer are important, true spirituality is demonstrated through action and service. He emphasizes that real spirituality is about love in action and that individuals must start where they are, serving those around them. This shift from self-centeredness to selfless service is a natural progression in one's spiritual journey. By engaging in acts of service, individuals can deepen their connection to others and contribute to the greater good. Blackson discusses the profound impact that significant tragedies have on individuals and societies. He emphasizes the importance of understanding these events not just as isolated incidents, but as part of a larger narrative that shapes human experience. He reflects on historical tragedies, such as wars, natural disasters, and social injustices, and how they resonate through generations. These events often lead to collective trauma that can affect mental health, community dynamics, and cultural identity. Blackson shares personal anecdotes about how people cope with tragedy, highlighting the resilience of the human spirit. While tragedies can lead to despair, they can also foster solidarity and a sense of purpose among those affected. He encourages listeners to engage with their emotions and seek support from their communities when navigating the aftermath of such events. Storytelling plays a crucial role in processing grief and trauma. Blackson suggests that sharing experiences can help individuals and communities heal, fostering a sense of connection and understanding. Blackson addresses the role of media in shaping public perception of tragedies. He critiques sensationalism and the tendency to focus on the negative aspects of events, arguing that this can lead to a distorted understanding of reality. He advocates for a more balanced approach that acknowledges both the pain and the resilience that can emerge from difficult situations. By fostering empathy and understanding, society can better navigate the complexities of tragedy. Blackson believes that a compassionate perspective can help individuals and communities heal and grow. Throughout the podcast, Blackson emphasizes that the journey of life is about the evolution of consciousness. 
he encourages listeners to embrace the ups and downs of life, recognizing that everything serves a purpose in spiritual growth. By surrendering to life's flow and trusting in its intelligence, individuals can find themselves in the right place at the right time, surrounded by the right people, even if the path is not what they initially expected.